He was one of the most brilliant CIA operatives we ever had. Until he went rogue. He's responsible for the deaths of multiple agents. First and foremost, it was one of the last films that my my late agent uh, really wanted me to do, so I felt uh, it was like a tribute to him. I uh, was really fascinated and excited when I, not only when I met Daniel Espinosa, but when I saw his, his first film, or the first film I saw, Snabacash, which was really good and unusual style. And uh, I thought we had the core of a good, good story, and we worked on the script for for months and we got it to a good place and, and then I was excited about it. And the opportunity, you know, once he decided he wanted to shoot it in Cape Town, I was like, oh, that's really exciting too, so. Daniel, he, I mean, he brought a really fresh take on, an, on just about every aspect of filmmaking. I mean, he's an incredible student of the game. He loves film. He's a huge fan. He knows everything about it. He has an encyclopedic knowledge of, of every movie ever made, I think. But uh, he just brings some kind of this really grounded kind of reality to it, you know. Nobody's a superhero in the movie. Everybody's kind of feels like a real living, breathing person, and uh, he just brought that element of reality to it, which I thought was fantastic. Hey, they're here for me, but they want me alive. You don't kill. You got one in the chamber? It's okay. <laughs> 